I like this old guy. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? I like your crow's feet. Those are laugh lines. What are you talking about? At least you have a whole head of hair. Look at that, folks. For an old guy? Thank you for passing on the good <laughs> genes, Dad. I really appreciate I it. I tried. What's going on today? We've got a young man with a sore throat, I think. We're gonna go find out. Hola, como esta? What's up, dude? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what's going on. Uh, I got a sore throat. You sound a little like a frog. <laughs> so when did this start? A couple of days ago. A couple of days ago? It's It was hard to swallow? Like felt like you were swallowing razor blades? <laughs> That's no fun. Personally, when I've got a, any child who's got a severe sore throat, I always swab it to make sure we're not missing strep. But we'll start off with just taking a look. Ah. Ah. Super. Ah. Ah. One more big ah. Ah. Excellent. Those tonsils are almost touching. The uvula is touching one of his tonsils, and there's some white stuff on it. So that's pretty impressive. We are going to do a quick swab. Ah. Good. We do two swabs at once so that we can do one as backup in case it's negative and the other one gets sent to my nurses for a rapid strep i missed <laughs> that was a miss you guys we'll follow up in a moment we're gonna go see what this uh if it's strep or not okay throat culture <laughs> alex is a certified youtube star. yes all right she knows how this works So, it turns out it was not strep. Um, that makes me think of one thing. Nice and hollow. Hollow's good. What am I feeling for you guys? A spleen. How does my videographer know that? He's been hanging out with me too much. What was I worried about? Mono. Mono, look at that guy. So, very, very rarely when you have a bad throat, your throat does look pretty bad, it can be it's usually strep, but it can be mono. Okay. But you're kind of young for mono, so I doubt it's mono. I think, hmm, I think we we'll wait and see. We've got a backup culture going. That's the right thing to do for those of you who are practitioners. You're not supposed to treat a negative strep culture with antibiotics. The whole purpose of doing the strep culture was to see if it's bacterial or viral, because about half the sore throats are viral. They're not bacterial, they don't need antibiotics. So chances are you're just gonna get better as if you had a cold or a flu. Uh, we'll have a backup culture and we'll know in the next couple days if it turns positive. I'll be here Friday, so I will check it and give you a phone call. Okay. That should be it for now. Sorry you don't feel good. It's okay. All right, well you were very brave. You were amazing for you know letting us see what was going on back there. You do have large tonsils. I bet if you were to fall asleep on your back like this, it'll block yes. because your tonsils are so big. So you might try sleeping on your side. Put a pillow between your legs and a pillow right here under your head and I think you'll breathe better at night. Have you tried that? Try it. Thanks for watching. We've got an awesome throat, three plus tonsils, might have been strep throat, still could be. We've got a backup culture and a most amazing young man. Thanks buddy. You guys, thumbs up for this amazing family, amazing patient and we'll see you next time. I'm Dr. Paul. Later dude. Later. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.